Okay, well, welcome to another episode, and today we are going to go over um, the TD Ableton package um, and how to install this. Um, so this is the Touch Designer Ableton link, um, a component that you'll need to download uh, off the internet first. Uh, before you do this, uh, make sure that Ableton is closed, um, and then and then you can do this. Um, set up this link. First, let's go up to help and browse samples. And you can see I've already got my uh, TD Ableton's in here. For some reason, I had to use the beta uh, version. Yeah. But, beta! Um, you can find these online. So if we go to um, the web and you'll find it on the forum here. I can put this download link um, in the description below. Uh, so you can have a look at that and download this. So you want to drag and drop this file into the browse samples folder. Um, just close that down and, and just pop that in here. And the next thing you need to do is you need to um, locate your MIDI remote scripts folder um, because what we're going to do is if you go inside this TD Ableton, um, this touch design folder needs to be inside that MIDI uh, remote scripts folder. So I'm just going to do a control N on this and go to my local disks. And you can see here under one of the hidden files, um, program data is here. So you need to, um, you might not see this, so you need to um, check the hidden items so you can actually see this program data. Uh, click on here and then scroll, scroll up. You should find Ableton, I'll write at the start. <laughs> um, and select the live 11 suite or what, whatever Ableton that you have and go into programs. No, nope, uh, sorry, go into resources. And you should see MIDI remote scripts here. So inside here, this is where you're going to want to drag this TD Ableton's touch designer folder. Um, you want to copy and paste this inside here, basically. Um, and then, so now that we have that in there, and let's open Ableton. Just give it a few moments to load here. So now what we want to do is in your places so if we go back to the um the folders we had up okay so this touch designer folder in your places you want to say if i um i remove this from the sidebar for now let's just drag this onto here so then we have that in our places in ableton and if you click on here you can see you've got your your different um modules and we need to just set this up. So if you click on your preferences, that's control um, comma and go to link tempo MIDI. And under the drop down menu, I've already selected mine. Uh, you, should, it's just, ugh, you should see touch designer. So that needs to be set on your MIDI channels and both of these are set to none. So now that's set up, we can Go back over to our touch designer menu, um, touch designer program, empty program, and um, under the palette on the side. And if you don't see the palette, say if your palette is closed, yeah. So if you don't see your palette, you can just click on open palette on the side, and you should see TD Ableton here. And like I said, I my for my version, I haven't figured out why yet, but I've I've just got the beta version, so I'm just going to use that. And then it will say um, there's no TD master at the moment. So let's click cr create. And if you head back over to Ableton, you'll see that 
on the master channel is created this TD song. And what this TD song is, is basically your um, your master link. Um, so this is one of the highest levels um, of components that's inside um, of the TD Ableton package. Uh, so say if we go back over to Touch Designer and head on inside, uh, the package is basically set up with a, a range of base components that have um, Python data inside and um, they allow us to do um, quite a lot of functions um, going back and forth from Touch Designer and Ableton which is really really handy. Um, so over here we've got Ableton Live installed, we're going to select our uh, live suite and you'll notice here if you go on to the TD Ableton component um, you can see the different settings that you've got. So here, your Ableton port and max port, this should match, if you head over back over to Ableton, it should match the Ableton, T on the TD song, uh, Ableton port is, this, is the same number. So that's how you know it's linked and it also says it's connected. So this is basically a general setup of how to get um, TD Ableton package installed. And in later episodes, we're going to go over what's actually inside the package and take a, a you know, a little bit more of a closer look under the, the hood of the engine, so as it will, to see exactly what tools we have at our disposal. Um, so definitely subscribe, like this channel and, um, and stay tuned for that um, so we can go over more uh, immersive and uh, audio visual content. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.